hello guys this is text talk and welcome to a brand new video on the channel and here is my full detailed review on the nexus rom which is based on android marshmallow so a couple of days before i've already done an installation video of this rom so do check it out the link will be in the description area so without being said let's get started firstly let me just show you the android version of this rom so it brings Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow okay and it is the Nexus Experience version 10.1 which is uh, updated uh, some days before okay so now as you can see the app drawer is same as that of other ROMs but uh, let me show you how to customize it first you have to click on the multitask button and then the three dots and you will be taken to a menu okay in the menu you got a lot of options like search bar icon labels scroll wallpaper grid size icon labels and uh, I want it to show draw stylus sections I want it to compact and draw color is dark and I'm turning it to light and just larger icons and when I will go back this custom room brings up a lot of features to your redmi 2 or the redmi 2 prime let's suppose if you want to lock your apps or want to hide them so it also provides a really easy way to do that first you have to go to the multitask button and then to the three dots after that scroll down and go to protected apps and set up your password I've already done that so after that it shows up all the apps that are installed on your phone so let's suppose I want to hide this YouTube app so what, what you have to do is just click on that YouTube app and it is locked it is also hidden you just when you will go to your app drawer you will not find that app the only way to access that app is to go back to the protected apps okay oh, uh, enter the password and go back to YouTube and open that so as you can see it's a really cool feature and the next feature that I like is you can lock the folder let's suppose I want to lock this folder you have to click on that lock button and set up your password then click on the lock button again and it will show you the lock yes it will not allow you to open that folder to unlock that just simply click on this also allows you to add different themes to your phone let's suppose you want to add a theme just go to the settings and in the settings you have to scroll down and go to themes so as I have already downloaded the CM13 Galaxy S6 theme so I'm just gonna click on that and enable the things that I want to I don't want the boot animation ringtones notification and just click on apply so now your theme is applied and yes it is a galaxy type look now you can just go back to your main theme just by going to settings themes and then system default select everything and update yeah it displays this message which is unfortunately system UI has stopped but just don't panic click on ok and just press the home button as we have talked a lot about the customization of this room so now let us move on to the settings the first option is home and in which you can set out the launcher and the second one is display and lights in which uh, the good thing is that you can set the LCD density and the theme and also the font size and the next good function is that you get the same function as the MIUI in which you get the power saver mode, balance mode and the performance mode and the performance mode is for gamers and last option in this category is users 
in which you can just change the name of the users but a bug in the storm is that you cannot change the profile photo let's suppose i want to i want this as my profile photo but it just doesn't change your profile photo okay so now let us move on to the bug the first bug is that whenever we play a video uh, a strange kind of a design appears and the second bug is that with the youtube a lot was saying that youtube is not working properly it sometimes it says that touch to retry so i also fa face that problem myself so what you have to do is just reinstall that app youtube and it is gonna work properly and um, i was getting a comment from one user that the clash of clans is not working but i have tested the clash of clans also and it is working fine and i've also tested uh, this one with some basic games like subway surfers and temple run and so that's all for this video i just want to make a small announcement that my next video will be on the HTC ROM, its installation and review and I may do a video on the iPhone 5C versus Redmi 2 speed test of this Nexus ROM. So thanks for watching, do subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up.